Lightburn's numeric edits toolbar is packed with options for adjusting the size, position, and orientation of selections in your workspace. In this video, we'll explain how each option works and share a few tips that will help you get the most out of this surprisingly powerful toolbar. Starting from the left are the X and Y position fields, where you can set the horizontal and vertical positions of your selection in your Lightburn workspace relative to your chosen point in the nine dot control towards the right side of the toolbar. Using the square as an example, I'll select it to make it active and click around the nine dots. As I click through them, we can see the X and Y position values change. This is because each dot represents a different location on your selection. To show this better, here is a selection of different shapes. I've overlaid a grid of nine dots on the selection to show what's happening behind the scenes. I'll show the actively selected dot in blue and the non-selected ones in red. Cycling through the nine dots again, we can see the point the position fields are referencing. If I want to reposition this object based on the top right of the selection, I'll click the top right dot. Now the coordinates I enter into the X and Y positions box will move the selection so that the top right is at that point. Selection areas are always defined as the smallest rectangle that can contain all shapes in your selection. That means that the top right point of a selection is not necessarily the top right point of an individual shape in your selection, but may instead be the top right corner of the smallest rectangle that can completely contain it and everything else in your selection. Next are the width and height fields, where you can rescale your selection by entering a specific measurement in either box. The boxes to the right allow you to rescale your selection up or down by percentage. When the lock icon is in the locked position, aspect ratio is maintained when rescaling your selection, meaning both dimensions are always rescaled together. As an example, this rectangle has a height of 20 and a width of 100 millimeters, which is an aspect ratio of one to five. With the lock enabled, if I change the height to 40, the width will automatically adjust to 200 to maintain that one to five ratio. If I click to toggle the lock off and adjust the height again, we can see that only the height is adjusted and the width is unchanged. The nine dot control sets an anchor point when rescaling shapes using either of these methods. Selections will be shrunk down toward or enlarged away from the point in your selection indicated by the nine dot control. The rotate box accepts positive or negative numbers representing degrees and rotates your selection by that amount. The point on your selection indicated by the nine dot control determines the center of rotation. With this triangle, we see that if the center dot is selected, the shape rotates in place. However, if I switch the nine dot control to the top right and rotate it again, the shape shifts in location when rotating since its center of rotation is now the top right. Clicking on the unit of measurement button lets you quickly toggle between metric and imperial. This updates all tools and functions in Lightburn that use a unit of measurement, converts any existing values accordingly, and can be toggled back at any time. The X position, Y position, width, and height fields also accept and automatically convert units of measurement. So if Lightburn is set to metric, but you only have a value in inches, you can simply type the number followed by quotation marks or IN for inches, and it will convert that into millimeters. This means you don't need to use an external tool to convert measurements or jump back and forth between units of measurement. Just enter the values as you have them and Lightburn does the rest. Finally, in addition to numeric values and units of measurement, the X position, Y position, width, and height fields all accept equations. If you enter an equation into any of these boxes, Lightburn will make the calculation and update the value with the solution. Knowing the full capability of the numeric edits toolbar will ensure you can easily adjust and place objects in your workspace with pinpoint accuracy. Be sure to subscribe for more great videos on mastering Lightburn.